Thanks, Steph. Yes, we're here with two of the stars of Melbourne City. Steph, first of all, how do you sum up that grand final, but also your season, gone undefeated and obviously to top it, put the cherry on the cake, so to speak, of winning a grand final? Yeah, obviously it's been an unbelievable season. Um, today was a battle. Sydney really took it to us and it was a grind the whole game, but, you know, the whole season's been amazing and, you know, at the end of the day, I think we deserve it and we got the job done today. Even though it was a tough game, we got over the line, so I'm so proud of the girls. That was two seasons ago when they beat the Wanderers. Van Egmont from distance. What a strike from Emily Van Egmont against her former club. That will silence her former fans. Oh, that's beautifully fed through for Mijanovic. Can she finish? It is a first goal for Melbourne City for the Serbian. Goal to Mili Mijanovic. Oh, Van Egmont converts. Sham Kamas almost, almost managed to save it. A second goal for Emily Van Egmont. Surely, surely means the points are headed back with Melbourne City. From one of those central defensive positions, played in behind now for Carpenter. And they are in front now. Melbourne City strike first after a red hot start. And it is Kaya Simon sliding in to open the scoring. Ellie Carpenter with the assist. Mijanovic looking for another white shirt, finds one there, and there is the opening goal with just minutes gone on the clock. Once again, it's Emily Van Egmont, her third goal in a Melbourne City shirt, and what a start for the visitors. A bit more space, wait, wait. in, flying through was Kai Simon, Mijanovic! What a goal! Milly Mijanovic, her second goal of the season, and that gives Melbourne City a 2-1 lead here in Sydney. The champions last week now trying to beat the reigning premiers. Oh, must be! Kia from Melbourne City. It's another late, late winner. She saw the space in behind. She signalled to Emily Van Egmont to slip the ball in behind so that she could get... Catley. Off the other side of the crossbar. And headed home for the under. Kaya Simon with the initial header. Her teammate might have finished off the job. They're all getting around. Rebecca Stotts, who has a rare W League goal. Steph Catley's brilliant free kick set it all up. And they score from very close range in the end. Kinger out to Catley. Not a bad ball. Arnold's got to be careful. Mijatovic buries it. It's the opening goal here at Dockland Stadium. Dolphin Stadium, thanks to Mili Mijatovic. Plays it to Lewick instead. Ivy Lewick with the head. It's in the back of the net. It's two for Melbourne City. She scores against her former club, Ivy Lewick. Kaya Simon turning, able to evade Price. The shot's on here for Kaya Simon. Great start for Melbourne City. And the sweet left foot of Kaya Simon breaks the deadlock early. right here how's the scott from the spot she's good and it's 2-0 for melbourne city as emsley scores to make it 3-0 before the break simon scores and melbourne city are going about boosting their goal difference at the moment but simon cool finish you suspect they would retake top spot on the table here's dobson first involvement van egmond and it's a goal Newcastle for Melbourne City as Dobson and Van Egmond combine spectacularly. Think she meant that one? Well, Canberra is one of Van Egmond's former teams and she seems eager not to over celebrate that, but that makes it four. Uh, it's a good ball in here by Riley. She's done well. She's kept it. She's played the pass to Emily. Good first touch by Emily. Was the sole city player in the middle. Miatovic, the shooting channel is there and it's a great goal. Melissa Miatovic goes bang and Melbourne City do get the early goal they were hoping for. That's four in nine now for the Serb. Now Rebecca Stott, Van Egmond, and it's a great shot from Van Egmond through the traffic and picking out the bottom corner. Van Egmond's great goal-scoring run continues. Now Catley uses the right foot. Van Egmond drifting and scoring! 
What a week of goal scoring it has been for Emily Van Egmond. And she takes that goal touch from the Matildas back to the W League. Van Egmond's waiting in the middle. Can Emsley go it herself? Or oh, Kiwi goes to ground and scores Emsley. Claire Emsley makes it 2 0. There he is, unbelievable. Through ball, Emsley, here's the chance. It's going to sit up and volleyed in. Emsley's got a double. Melbourne City's procession continues in this game. And Catley trying to get there before the byline. It's gone through Dumont's legs. And Kaya Simon with an easy tap in has drawn Melbourne City level with the all-time record win in a Melbourne derby. It is 4-0. Scottish international against Newborn and sticks it away. And Melbourne City lead 11 minutes in after a somewhat contentious penalty. Emsley, little one-two. Carpenter opening up an angle here. Still Ellie Carpenter. Oh, what a goal from Melbourne City! On track for the Premier's place. Keen to lift that silverware tonight. 2 nil up already, and Ellie Carpenter has scored a special goal. As Carpenter cuts inside, Van Egmont makes the run. Carpenter was looking for it. Now she has a tap in, and she does have two. Ellie Carpenter is thinking about a hat-trick tonight, the way she's going. And they'll surely be lifting that Premier's plate in half an hour's time. Melbourne City, too good here tonight for Western Sydney. With the neat turn, Miatovic in behind, TJ Vlanich and Lewick. And surely a fourth it is, and a first W League goal for the young lady out of the United States, Ali Watts, providing a spark and a smile to save her as well. Her first goal in a professional league. Still Carpenter looking for options. Ali Watts there, so is Miatovic. Miatovic! effort it has been coming for the half hour. Billy Miatovic with yet another one. I've seen that goal before. That was a carbon copy of her one here against Newcastle. And you knew as soon as it fell to her feet what she was looking to do. Beautiful shape shot around the keeper and you know that's what she can get, can do and you know too much time and space here. Palmer comes back. It's intercepted by Kinger. Watt tries to bring it down. And there is another goal for the home side alley. Watt finally has the goal that has been coming. Excellent work from the American, and it's 2-1 to Melbourne City. I mean, it's a great finish by Watt. Great touch. Another corner for Melbourne City, brought down by Kinger, well controlled. Still Kinger hooks it back. Still a chance here for City, and they take it. That is another one for Ali Watt. Two today for the American, and a two-goal cushion for Melbourne City. A goal mouth scramble like that. I always know which side's going to come off there and King are getting a big hope for a help in, in that one. Well deserved. It's a great set piece to pick King out. Carpenter still going into the box. Ellie Carpenter cutting it across and Emsley scores. There was a feeling of inevitability to it. Ellie Carpenter does provide the assist and Claire Emsley with the tap in to make it 1-0 to Melbourne City. He's going to swing it across. Kaya Simon is there. Fantastic header from Kaya Simon. And Smith couldn't quite get a decisive touch. It's blazed in for another Melbourne City goal. It's becoming a rout this semi final. And this time it's Rebecca Stott who's lashed it in. Abby Smith committed and could not get a decisive hand on the ball. And on the left foot, Kaya Simon, it's four. And the three goal buffer is restored by a Brilliant finish from Kaya Simon. That's two for her. And that is Melbourne City reasserting their dominance on this semi-final. Catley and Nevin. Oh, has shanked it in for an own goal. It's 5-1. And it's been a horror couple of minutes for Courtney Nevin. 1-2 with him. That Egmont still there for Catley. Crosses in. And that's gone on Steph Catley. The Melbourne City captain has the opening goal. Well, we've just been saying how valuable she is. 
It's a very warm and hearty congratulations to the Westfield W League 2020 champions, Melbourne City.